Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome as well. My name is Dami and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I finally cleared my skin after having acne for the longest time. For the purpose of this video, I am not wearing any makeup. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys give me a like. Uh, make sure you guys comment, subscribe, ask any questions if you have any, and I will see you guys in the next one. I tried to film this video as realistically as possible. It sucks because my camera has like a smoothing effect, which I have off right now, but I still feel like it smooths my skin out a little bit. So I'm just going to insert clips of what my skin looks like without the effects of this camera, and hopefully you guys get a better sense of what my skin is looking like right now. Also, in my previous videos, I've been getting a lot of compliments on my skin and a lot of people asking me what I do for my skin, so I just thought I would share it with you guys. Now, it's still a work in progress. I still have dark marks. I still have different colors, craters, scars, everything, but I just wanted to share this with you guys because my skin has been a journey. Basically, everything in my life is a journey. So Growing up, I had normal skin until I hit puberty, and puberty was like, I'm gonna give you all these pimples on your face. And it was expected, you know, it's anticipated, it is what you expect during puberty. However, it never let up. During the years, it would get really bad, it would get good, it would get bad, it would get good. And then 2017, I turned 18, and I was kind of out of puberty so it really made no sense that I was still breaking out and it started to look like adult acne. I had a very very bad breakout in 2017 and I tried everything, nothing worked, it was very painful and it looked really bad. I will insert pictures of what that looked like. 2017 was the year I graduated high school, that was when I moved cities and I started my freshman year in college and Obviously, as you guys can imagine, that was a really hard time for me because I was overweight then and also I had really bad acne. So like my confidence wasn't the best at that time and I was very determined to do whatever it took. I started looking up a ton of videos on YouTube um, on how to clear your skin and how to clear your skin naturally without going on any medications and stuff and I found a bunch of videos and I tried a bunch of things. I did the whole like wash your face for 60 seconds, use essential oils, eat healthy food, change your diet. Heck, I started exercising. I lost weight, as you guys know. I bought shea butter, coconut butter, coconut oil, tea tree oil, different kind of exfoliants, the Aztec healing clay, baking soda, apple cider vinegar, you name it. I tried it. I spent over a thousand dollars just trying out things. I, I remember trying lemon oil, vitamin C oil. I would go on these websites and they will tell me to like say Bloody Mary in a mirror for three seconds and my skin will be clear and I would do that because I was so desperate. I spent so much money. My skin only got worse. It never got better. Every now and again I would see a little bit of like clearing up but it was still really bad. And then my skin was raw, sensitive, burnt. It was bruising, it hurt to touch it. I couldn't leave my house without feeling like my skin was peeling off because it was just so painful and so raw. I used things like aloe vera, these like drugstore things on my face, toothpaste. I put everything on my face and that basically destroyed my skin. My skin got so sensitive to the point where I can not use anything anymore on my face. I had to stop using everything. I remember buying a bunch of black soap. I had to give it away because I literally could not put anything on my face. I had to find something that was 
very gentle and very and suitable for sensitive skin because I done so much that I made my skin sensitive so I had to switch over to Cetaphil I started using that and I've never stopped using that that's the only thing I will use on my face is Cetaphil I use Cetaphil for my face wash and Cetaphil for my moisturizer and I've stuck to that and I probably will continue to stick to that after a while where I had finally healed my skin and it wasn't so sensitive anymore, I decided to go to the doctors because I was sick of it. I tried everything and I decided that maybe I need to get some professional help. I didn't go to a dermatologist because you have to get a referral, then you have to wait and I just really did not have the time or the patience for that. I needed to get my stuff done. So I went to my doctor and he prescribed birth control called Yaz and also Clindoxil. And those two things I used for a year in addition to my Cetaphil face wash and my Cetaphil moisturizer. It cleared up my skin a little bit. It definitely controlled my acne. I was a lot more confident and I liked the way my skin looked, um, but it wasn't 100%, right? It, it was maybe about 80%. Um, maybe I would even say 75, but it was never 100. And then the Clindoxil is a topical treatment which I put on my face. Whenever I have a spot, I put it over the spot and within a couple days, it gets rid of the spots. It wasn't as effective as I would have wanted it to be. It was very slow acting and when it does work, it burns my skin. It worked for a while and then after a while, I started breaking out again. Granted, it was not as terrible as it was at first, but I was still breaking out. I was on this birth control and I was using all these things, not all these things, but I was using the Clindoxil on my face and nothing was working. And so I decided to pay my doctor another visit and he prescribed Accutane. So I went on Accutane. Accutane is a medication that you need to get prescribed by your doctor. Its generic name is isotretinoin. Trade name Claris, Accutane, whatever. I'm currently on Claris because Claris is a no name brand and Accutane is the name brand and I'm bougie but not bougie enough to use name brand medication. I just don't care that much. <laughs> Accutane is very, very tough on your body. It's tough on your stomach. It's tough on your liver. You cannot use it while breastfeeding. You cannot use it um, if you're trying to get pregnant. You cannot use it if you're pregnant. Basically, you will not get prescribed Accutane unless you get put on birth control. It is a requirement to be on birth control to use Accutane. It's definitely like last resort kind of thing. It's not something that you would just go on right away. You have to do a lot of blood work to make sure that you are okay. So I have been on Accutane for 31 days. I was started on the 20 milligrams and for a month and now I'm on 20 milligrams as well because they see that my skin is doing pretty well and they don't really see a point in increasing the dosage so they're keeping it at 20 milligrams for now. I might make a video updating you guys, maybe make a separate video on my Accutane journey because that's that's a whole nother story. And I told my doctor that the Clindoxo wasn't working as well anymore so he put me on Retin-A. Retin-A is also a topical treatment, you rub it in on your skin. I love the retin-a it helps clear my acne it helps clear my scars my scarring has been a lot better my skin is a lot more even ever since i started using the retin-a so i'm very very excited same with retin-a it has to be prescribed everything i've mentioned so far except for the cetaphil has to be prescribed by your doctor now i'm going to move on into showing you guys my skincare routine it's very simple very easy I didn't mention this in the video, but before you start anything that has to do with your face, make sure you wash your hands. So um, I washed my hands and then I took a um, face wipe and wiped off any makeup that I had from the day. Um, obviously you would not need the wipe if you do not wear makeup however I did on this day so I had to wipe it all off I usually go through about two or three wipes I make sure everything and I mean everything or as much as possible is gone from my face before starting anything
And then I'm starting with Cetaphil. This one is for oily, acne prone skin. I will link it down below. I start with a little bit of a drop on my hand and then I just massage that into my skin um, for 60 seconds. Make sure you time yourself and you wash your face for 60 seconds because it helps apparently. <laughs> um, and then I wash that off and just rinse it off with water. And then I wash my face a second time, especially if I feel like I still have some makeup on. I wash it, go in between my eyebrows, my nose, and then I rinse it off. And then after that, I dry my face with a clean towel that I change twice a week. Don't use the same towel you use to wipe your body to wipe your face because that's nasty. Don't put what you put on your ass on your face. That's disgusting. So I have a, safe, a separate face towel and I wash that twice a week. And now I'm going in with my chemical exfoliant by Paula's Choice. It's for acne prone skin. It's for sensitive skin. Um, it's very good for my skin. I use this once a week, not every day, because it is an exfoliant and it will leave your skin like feeling burnt if you use it too much. It's not good to over exfoliate. So I use it once a week and I rub it all over and it looks good. So this part is optional and I use it once a week. And then I'm going in with my Retin-A or Stevia-A, I guess, is like a different name for Retin-A. It's Trentinoin, 0.05%. Um, I put three drops on my problem areas, which are my cheeks, my chin, um, and I just rub that in. You A little really goes a long way. Like you can see how those little dots spread all over my face. So a little goes a long way. Don't overdo it. Just... Rub it on your problem areas and you're good to go for the night. And now my morning routine, I go in with my Cetaphil and I wash my face. I don't do it twice because I don't go to bed wearing makeup so there's no point. After washing my face, I dry it. Usually I wash my face in the shower but you know, whatever, I wash, I dry it. And then after that, I go in with my Cetaphil moisturizer. This one has SPF 30. If you're doing any kind of skincare, make sure you have good SPF that doesn't clog your skin. You do not want to leave your house without SPF, no matter the color of your skin. So I rub it all over my skin, and I let that go into my skin. It's very good. It doesn't clog my pores. It's very gentle, and it's very light. It's oil-free, and it has SPF. Do not leave your house without good SPF <laughs> um, and then that is just the base so for my makeup so if I'm putting on makeup I'll put on primer foundation all that stuff but if I'm not putting on makeup that's all I just put on lip balm lip gloss and I leave the house so it's nothing my it's not nothing too complicated um, that's the end of the video if you guys have any questions suggestions leave them down below I will list all the uh, products I use in this video down below and if you enjoyed this video subscribe and yeah I'll see you guys in the next one